as, as hard as I can. Heater? I'm, I'm going to give him a heater. Yeah. Nine-year-old Hunter Brown is like most other little boys his age. He's obsessed with sports, especially baseball. What's up, big man? You got a nicer jersey than I do. What's up? How you get so lucky? Um, I got custom made. <laughs> There's just one small thing that makes Hunter a little different than everyone else. He was diagnosed with left hemiplegic cerebral palsy after birth. But that hasn't stopped him from wanting to do what other kids his age do, play sports. My whole thing with him is for him to have confidence in who he is and know just he's awesome. You know, um, he has a lot of limitations, but he doesn't take it like that. He's, for me, that's, I just want him to be, his words, normal. I, but, I mean, to us, he's awesome, so. <laughs> Working with Tiger OT for the past two years, Hunter's goal this semester was simple. He wanted to be able to play non-adaptive baseball this spring. It helped me a lot. Like, it seems like you're just playing in games and stuff, but it's actually working with your hands and your other, like, arms and stuff, so. So it makes therapy fun? Yes. So we found videos of kids with cerebral palsy, super similar presentation as him, using just the right hand. Um, and so we just went off of that and we showed him videos and we worked on it a few times and I mean he picked it up immediately. He's used to using his right hand for everything and he's completely functional with it. So there's no reason to make him use that hand that's not as strong. If he can be successfully using one, then that's what we're going to do. To celebrate Hunter's success, the School of Health Professions teamed up with Mizu Athletics to give him the ultimate Mizu baseball experience, throwing out the game's first pitch. I am like kind of scared, but I'm also really excited because I'm not sure if I'm going to make it all the way to the um, home base, so that's kind of reasonable, um, but I think I'm, I'm going to do good. We had our last um, clinic session with him yesterday, and uh, we just worked on everything like we normally do, but it's really exciting to get out here tonight and get to really see him put it all together and be able to celebrate his successes this semester um, and really be proud of himself. Proving to himself and others, kids with disabilities shouldn't be limited. He may be a little different um, than anyone else who plays baseball. It may look a little different. It may not be the exact same way that all the other kids are doing it, um, but it doesn't mean he can't do it just as well. I think it's really important uh, to other um, disabilities that kids have because um, they can do normal stuff like other kids. So I think it's really special. Play ball! Yeah. For the Mizzou Network, I'm Lauren Holman.